Hi, welcome to the section Building an Android App with Emotion Based Selfie Filters and let's have a brief overview on what you'll learn in this section. In this section, we'll learn about various face and head detection and tracking techniques. Like, we'll see how we can perform real time face detection using eigen faces. We'll then see how we can estimate the pose of the head of the person in 3D. We'll next see how we can use some pre-existing classifiers along with OpenCV called har based classifiers and use them to detect faces of cats and humans. We'll next see how we can detect landmark points in a face using the DLib library. We'll also see how we can morph faces, swap two faces and mask a face using DLib as a face landmark detector. And we'll finally accomplish the project for this section which is to build an Android app with emotion based selfie filters. In this video, we we'll learn about how we can perform real time face detection and recognition using eigenfaces. We'll also see how you can use PCA to perform dimensionality reduction in order to make it feasible to detect faces in real time. We start by discussing on high level on what eigenfaces is and what are its applications. Next, we'll learn about principal component analysis and how it can be used to reduce the size of the feature vectors by only saving the features that are most significant. We'll next see how PCA aids in generating eigenfaces from a digital image, followed by how we can use images represented as eigenfaces to detect presence of face in an image and further determine how it can be used to recognize a face in an image post detection. Let's start by getting a higher level idea on what eigenfaces are. During the training process, with the input being raw images, these input images become part of a face space called eigenfaces, which are the eigenvectors of a set of face. These eigenfaces contribute for the face reconstruction. If a new face image projected into the same face space due to the learned face weights, this projection of new faces is compared to available projections to identify the person based on the Euclidean distance. Now let's learn about a technique called PCA or principal component analysis. It is very useful for getting out of the curse of dimensionality. The goal of PCA is to reduce the dimensionality of data while retaining as much information as possible in the original dataset. This best low dimensional space can be determined by the best eigenvector which is the eigenvector corresponding to the largest eigenvalues of the covariance matrix X. Next, let's see how PCA is computed mathematically. Here is the methodology for computing the PCA of input data of shape n by 1. Take some time to understand what's happening in every step of the PCA process. Once you have understood what the PCA methodology does, let's see an example of computing principal component analysis on a sample data and analyze the loss to get a better understanding on what we just learned. Now we'll see how we can extract principal components from images. For this example, we'll be using the Yale dataset for computing the principal component analysis. So as a first step, we input the images from the Yale dataset and set a size factor by setting the width and height as 100 by 100. For this example, we have also defined an eigenface class initializes with the image path which contains a subset of the Yale faces and we also compute a downsample factor which is the ratio of the size of the image in the Yale dataset with the constant size that we have defined earlier and we use this downsampling factor once we are done with reducing the size of the image by a sample factor we store this image into image pin and we calculate the vector representation of the reduced images by using the function get vector. Now let's see the implementation of the function get vector. So inside get vector, we loop through all the images that we just set in the variable image pin and we first flatten the image by using the flatten function. Flattening the image gives us a one dimensional image vector and as a next step, we concatenate this flattened images column wise to get a 2D vector and finally return this 2D vector. 
and next is the function that computes the PCA, which is get PCA in this case. So the first step we find the mean vector for which we use the mean function on the vector matrix applied on the axis 0. And next, based on the PCA algorithm which we have already seen, we subtract this mean vector from every other image vector followed by performing single value decomposition which is used for factorizing the vector matrix which gives us three values u, s and v where s is the standard deviation and v is the eigenvector and set these values which are the eigenvector, the variance proportion and the mean vector and return them as the output of the PCA function. So here is the output of the above API. So we first input the Yale images and then we perform PCA and get the eigenvectors. So these are the eigenvectors of the images of a sample of the Yale data set. And we can also find the feature size of each eigenvector which is 1344. We can also set a value k and decrease the feature size to k the PCA of every unique image remains unique. We will now see how eigenfaces are represented in a mathematical form to support real-time face detection and recognition. We had an introduction to eigenfaces earlier. Let's now see how it can be computed from raw images and stored. In order to get the eigenfaces, we first obtain face images and make sure that the faces are of the same size and shape and appear centered in the images. We represent each face as a vector of size n squared by 1. We then average out this face vector followed by subtracting the mean face. And next we compute the covariance matrix using the above formula as you see in step 5. And then we find the eigenvalues and eigenvectors of the covariance matrix. And then we only keep the k largest eigenvalues also known as the principal components. Next, let's see how we can use eigenfaces to detect faces in an image. The method to detect face in an image is very straightforward. Given an input image i, scan the window of size n by n and generate a vector of dimensional n squared by 1. Next, subtract the mean image and then use the learn weights from the eigenvalues during the training to generate the eigenfaces. We next compute the difference of the eigenface of the unknown image from the difference of the average face and if it is below a threshold which is needed for the image to be of a face, the picture is classified as a valid face. Now that we have solved the detection problem using eigenfaces, let's now see how we can perform facial recognition using eigenfaces. The method for recognizing face in an image is also straightforward. Given an input image i, first we scan a window of size n by n and generate a vector of dimension n squared by 1. Next, we subtract the mean image and use the learn weights from the eigenvalues during training to generate an eigenface. We then represent the eigenfaces as a vector of trained weights and find the minimum value of the difference of weights across all the other eigenfaces in the training examples and pick the minimum difference. If the minimum difference meets the threshold needed for a successful recognition, we consider the face as successfully recognized. Let's see an example for detecting a face in Python notebook. Now we'll see how we can do face recognition using eigenfaces. For this, we'll create an instance of eigenface recognizer by calling the method create eigenface recognizer of the face module, which is part of the OpenCV contrib. Then we declare the training image path and the test image path and we call the function get images and labels and pass the training faces and this function returns us the images along with their corresponding labels. Let's quickly see the implementation of get images and labels. The function get images and labels takes in all the training image files, loops through them and Per image it calls the function prepare image and appends it to an image list. Similarly, it appends the label to the labels list and returns the images and all the labels. Let's see the implementation of prepare image. In prepare image, we read each image and 
converted to grayscale followed by histogram equalization which normalizes the brightness of the image and returns the image. Next, we call function train of object recognizer and pass the images and the corresponding labels. This would train our model on the training images. Next, we loop through every test image and call the function predict face with the test image. Let's quickly see what predict face does. Predict face takes each test image and calls the prepare image function on each test image, which gives us a histogram equalized grayscale image. And then we initialize a collector by calling standard collector create of the face module and pass it to the predict collect method of the recognizer object. The information regarding the prediction of the test images. And in our case, we are interested in getting the minimum label of the image that has the minimum distance with one of the training images. And we save the label into a variable called nbr. And then we display the input test image and the predicted image and its label. Let's see the output of this following program. So as you see here, we have trained the images and as you can see, so here is the test image and the predicted face for the above test image, which is right. And the eigen recognizer in this case was able to recognize the faces correctly. Similarly, for all the other examples, the eigen face recognizer predicts the right face.